Uh, yeah, I mean, no, no, just please sit. Welcome. Thank you. Are you waiting for someone? Because I could no. sit at the bar. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm alone. I mean, I'm, I don't mean like alone, I'm like I'm lonely. I'm not lonely. I mean, what I mean to say is I did not bring anyone with me, so you can, you can stay. Okay. You can stay. Welcome. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Engineer, Mr. Engineer, Sasa, si Rudy V, Nairobi, Rudy, Bana, Rudy, to the government you hate. Hmm. So, Engineer, from Nairobi. Did I say that right? Yeah. Nairobi. Unfortunately. Well, allow me to welcome you to Harare, the sunshine city that's always in load shedding. Thank you. <laughs> I'm from Nairobi, mm -hmm. the only city with a national park within its boundaries. I raise you in Harare, the city where hustlers will shine your shoes for free. But just the one. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, you got me with that one. Uh -huh. So, what's, what's your story? You kind of already know a lot about me, as it is. So, how about you go first? It's nothing to know. I am just a overworked, overqualified, underpaid Zimbabwean. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> you know, I think you should try stand-up comedy. I should. Yeah. And, yeah. Hey, do you want to hear a joke? Yeah, okay. should. Knock knock. Oh wait. <laughs> okay, go now. Yeah. Okay, knock knock. Who's there? Africa but. Africa who? Africa, but not your government. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst joke I've ever heard. Oh please! No no no. The worst joke you've ever heard was William Bruto's promises. And the funniest wow. joke I ever heard was the fact that you people believed it. You're gonna go there? I'm gonna go there. Wow. Also, you know, it's an intelligent joke. I'm going to watch you The thing is, as Zimbabwe, it's also we are the most literate nation in all of Africa. Right? So, wait, you know, wait, wait, wait. What did you say? We are the most literate nation in Africa. The last time that statement was true was 1989. Yeah, I think so. Fair, fair, but in defense of my joke, it was, it was a bad joke about government, which in themselves are bad jokes. So it cancels out. It's a good joke. It kind of makes sense, but still. I mean, I'm from Kenya, so I know a thing or two about bad governments. Oh. Neza Kusho story, Ming is a bad government. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Are you sure? Are you sure this is a competition you want to start? With yeah. me, Nani yeah. Mzimba. Yeah. Oh. Let's go. I have to warn you first. Mm -hmm. I'm Kenyan. I'll win this money. <laughs> Baby, I'm Zimbabwean. I'll swipe for you. Why? Why? Come All right, on. Taratins. Taratins, go. So, some Kenyan government officials stole millions of dollars that were meant to buy medical equipment to fight against COVID-19. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. uh -uh. This will not work if you start by stealing facts about Zimbabwe. Okay, you cannot be corrupt in your report about corruption. Uh -uh, you're stealing facts about Zimbabwe. I'm, I'm not stealing any facts about your country. Mm. I wouldn't want a country without a currency. Oh, fish. Besides, fish. Oh. that's a natural scandal that happened in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Maybe, and just, just say, Maybe you're the one who's still in fact. You mean man? Kenya, Kenya, no ID Kenya. Huh? You guys need to get it, start that it, get it in, start that it, get it out. Huh? Nothing. We're friends, and clearly both of our countries misappropriated our funds in eh, COVID-19. Mm. But do you know, but you know, fifty people collected benefits for COVID-19, and they had the same ID number. Wait. Did they at least have the same name? I, I mean, it depends whether you think Chipo and Gift are the same name. But the important thing is, how do 50 people have the same ID number? Next! Thank <laughs> you. 
नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट This is what happens when getting rich matters more than people's health. Instead of being accountable, you'd rather count your bag. It raises the question, how human are we? Does it matter to you that others exist? And knowing that it's it's not only happening in your country either brings hope or becomes a source of even more despair, a reflection of how things change but somehow remain You sure that's not a story from Kenya? I was 100. 100% Zimbabwe. <laughs> Local, freshly made. <laughs> so, tell me, what happened in Kenya? Pretty much the same. In one instance, an entire shipment of medical supplies disappeared in thin air. An entire shipment? Yeah. Imagine a plane left China loaded with medical equipment. Well, it landed in Kenya, but the medical equipment did not. And the authorities recorded that under weird occurrence. Uh -huh. And that's not all. There's the Kidogo matter of government tenders being handed out in cupcakes. Hmm. It was chaos. So there's this government agency that procures and distributes medical supplies for public health centers. They pretty much did the same thing. Some senior officials saw the agency inflate their expenditure by 78 million US dollars. Hi. Good morning. Welcome. How can I help you? I'm here for the appointment. Appointment, Gani? The appointment. Oh, I'm sorry. You can go in. Wait, 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 wait. You said some government officials. Yeah. Which government officials? And I, do they not have names? They do. Sir, the names are? I just told you. <laughs> some senior government officials. Right. It's... Got it. On top of these inflated costs, mm -hmm. they ended up with all these PPEs that they could not distribute. Kind of like kicking out all the white people from your country and being left with these big chunks of land. You don't know what to do with. Man, did you see that? Same Zimbabwe. That is not familiar to me at all. But listen, it's not. It's not as bad, Auntie. You know these things. These things happen everywhere. Oh no, buddy. That is just the tip of the iceberg. Estella, why in China? Don't be a sister to try. To me, Emma, you need to trust the process. Ah, Oscar say it was Stella. Did you like me to say Diana? Lakini seriously, Stella. 
I don't understand. Why, why are these people in this alone? Your story is not making any sense. No, 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 no. What doesn't make sense is the amount of money she made, considering her initial investment mm -hmm. was only a hundred thousand Kenyan Can you believe that? The hell is a chili? It's 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 when the British leave you with a stable currency and you don't ruin it. Oh, huh. oh. okay. So that was it a bribe? No. It is the company's entire net worth. Like oh. everything, everything. You it must be a dream. Huh? I guess it is. Hmm. You can't grow without risk. So she obviously did not have the capacity to supply goods worth 1.8 million US dollars. So she had to improvise. She got some of the supplies, like the face masks from a hair salon. So you mean to tell me Kuti a hairdresser managed to flip $1,000 into $1 million, just like that? Point of correction. Uh -huh. She was not a hairdresser. She was a salonist, a beauty visionary. Mm -hmm. You know what's even more impressive is she got this tender without a new pre-qualification process. Uh, 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 uh. So there's this guy. Okay, his name is Delicious. This guy has a don't go to a colorful criminal record, Auntie. He has done everything, and I mean everything, and he's well connected. So like a, a few years ago, nobody even knew who he was, maybe except police. But now, Iwa Delicious is famous. Iwe. So when you say delicious. Do you mean like, like, you know, like delicious? <laughs> Do you know what I think? I think Kuti, his father, named him after his mother. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the, the important thing is he's a binga. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yeah. What's some binga? Binga, do you guys know Binga... You know, let me just finish the story. As I was saying, Delicious has a colorful record. He has been accused of everything. Some years ago, he was accused of armed robbery. After that, extortion. And after that, possession of cocaine and of Viagra. I disagree with the cocaine part, but the other one, huh, that, that might save marriages. I'm just saying. So, what happened? Sorry, sorry, He was arrested for all of this, but he was released. He was my catch and release. And last we heard of him, 2017, until COVID-19 happened. My we people dying, businesses stopping, lockdowns raging. Ah, uh, boss, uh, yeah, boss, uh, yeah, I'll get some more. One more, one more. Oh. Just one. Same one? Yeah. Another one for the beautiful lady. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. <laughs> so, yeah, go, go our on. government needed to procure some pre PPE. They need well, to procure some PPE. So normally what happens is that, you know, they put out a tender and then they get their favorite suppliers to bid on it. <laughs> this time, 
None of that happened. Guess who got the ten? Ah, uh, da, da, delicious. Aha, uh -huh, Mr. Nappy Tappy <laughs> himself. Oh my God. Oh, so he started this one. Zikuchi was Groot Enterprises. Groot, like Groot, Guardian of the Galaxy. Groot. Mm -hmm. What about copyright? <laughs> copyright foot. Sure. In Zimbabwe, if you copy, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, through the Minister of Health, the Enterprise got a contract so that they would supply COVID-19 equipment worth $60 million. $60 million? Without a tender? Yes. So it turns out, obviously, the figures were highly inflated because it meant that one box of masks would cost $28 instead of $4. A whistleblower came forward and blew the story wide open and it became a national scandal. COVID gate, it was called. But delicious, had she? It already received one million. Oh, oh, and I forgot. Delicious was said to be linked to the sons of people in high offices, but um, all 50 of them denied it. The issue has been um, <clears throat> quiet for a little bit. The minister was arrested. Delicious was arrested. The minister was released. Delicious was released. Ah, perhaps those connections really do come in handy. $20,000? Come on, man, we just had drinks. Sour, sour, sour. Don't forget to go and we use multiple currencies here. It's not that much. But it says here USD. You know, we, we still, we got tired of updating all the systems, okay? We still have things to fix. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, one more round. At least that will fix things. For now. Are you trying to get me drunk? No, come on. <laughs> I know we just met, but this is by far the best night I've had. In Harare. <laughs> Your life is boring, Shem. <laughs> yeah. But enough, enough with the horror stories. What, what's your story? Why, why are you so passionate about these things? I have a daughter. You know, I, I wanted to grow up in a country with free and equal opportunity where she, she can grow up to be who she wants to be, not who she has to. That's also why I came here, in search of opportunities. Wow. At least you can say you found them. More than I can say for me. What do you mean? It's, it's a never-ending cycle. I'm still looking. Want to start a business? What kind? Uh, something in the retail space. That is what is booming right now. Are you joking? I'm serious. I'm in the retail space. You're joking. Okay, are we just repeating and like what the other person's saying right now? Retail, retail is broad. You need to mm -hmm. be more specific, yeah? Because mm -hmm. I I want to venture into the electronic sales and service space. Wait. Is this, is this a prank? Is this I'm serious. I'm in the electronics <laughs> sales and service business. Huh, no. no, 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 no. Listen, listen, uh-uh, listen. If you're playing with me, please stop. No. I I'm I'm not drunk. No. I'm in that space. I any <sighs> my your kidogo side hustle could like be my side hustle because you know I'm in there. I know all the papers you have to file. I know all the licenses you need. I know all the guys to talk to, everything. I, I, I mean, I'm the one. Come to think of it. <laughs> have you ever wanted to do your own thing? Ooh, what does that have to do with anything? Because there's this requirement mm. from your government that I need a partner, something like 51%. <gasps> Are you serious? Serious. Let's, let's, anyway, if you're serious, I will quit my job right now. We can start tomorrow, but, but, but not, not tomorrow, tomorrow, 
because I'm gonna have to queue for fuel. But tomorrow but one, tomorrow but one, we will start and we will do due diligence and we're gonna have a company. <laughs> listen, listen, I am serious. You know? Yeah. I'm serious. <laughs> I didn't get your name. Nairobi. Or Namba. <laughs> What's Mbinga, by the way? 